do I avoid overpaying for a house when I'm buying? It's a great question and one that we get asked a lot by especially our first time home buyers that want to make sure they're not overpaying for a home. And guess what? We do not want you to overpay for a home either. We take a lot of pride in giving our clients the absolute best deal possible for the home they buy. Because ultimately, we want to sell that person two, three, four homes over the lifetime of our relationship with them. So we really do care and have a vested interest in the best price for the home that you purchase. So the best thing that I can do is to tell you when you're looking to buy a home is before you write an offer on that home is to look at what we call comparable properties. So look at maybe two or three active properties that are similar to the one that you're offering on see what the square footage is, see what the finishes are like, see what the lot looks like, all these other dynamics to see if the price is fairly similar to what you're gonna be offering on that home. And then also look at at least a couple of, of closed transactions as well, closed houses that are nearby that same property. Again, look for similar characteristics, similar age, um, similar size, and see what they actually sold for. Look at, don't look at price per square, per square foot, that's a mouthful, but look at just the, the total sale price and kind of see how it compares. Um, you know, comps are definitely a good indicator on what you should be paying for a home. It's what appraisers use to make sure that the house is not being overpaid for. And ultimately, you should ask your real estate agent to see a few of those comps. Um, all of our really savvy clients um, are always asking for that, and it's something we're always happy to provide. So I hope that is helpful. Mike Novak from the Novak Real Estate Team.